Former WorldCom CEO Bernie Evers asking to get out of prison early, this after serving roughly half of his sentence. And he may have a shot. Scott Cohn covered Evers' trial for us back in 2005, and he joins us from Silicon Valley. He's got that story. Scott. Hi, David. As you well know, in his prime, Bernie Ebers was known as the telecom cowboy, a former high school basketball coach who cobbled together a company that ultimately helped lay the foundation for the Internet as we know it. But it was all built on a massive brazen fraud. Cooking the books to the tune of $11 billion, Bernie Ebers was convicted on nine felony counts in 2005, sentenced to 25 years in prison with good behavior. He's due out in 2028. But today, according to court filings, he is a shell of the guy we saw all those years in all those weeks in court back in 2005, now 78 years old. He is uh, uh, legally blind, has a heart condition. The former bouncer has withered to 160 pounds, these court filings say. And 13 years into his sentence, his daughter is appealing for his release. Joy Ebers born telling the court that it is evident to her that her dad's days on earth are short and she fears he may only have weeks to live. Even the judge who sentenced him, Barbara Jones, now retired, says she's okay with an early release. She says it would show compassion, compassion would not jeopardize public safety, and she said Evers has been punished enough. Well, the government is not moved by any of this, pointing out that Barbara Jones at the time of the sentencing said that anything less than life in prison would be wrong, and also pointing out that Evers directed the massive fraud, which caused tens of thousands of shareholders to suffer billions of dollars in losses. Well, this all falls to the new judge in the case, Valerie Caproni. She gave the victims in the case through yesterday to respond and, and be heard about this. No word on whether anybody took her up on that. And she also, just yesterday, asked for more medical information about Evers from the Bureau of Prisons, including whether he's faking any of this. Guys? Yeah, well, Scott, uh, you and I both covered this closely. Uh, and the other major frauds of that era, certainly I'm thinking uh, Enron, Adelphia, there was a bunch of them, as, as you well know. You know, 25 right. years, though, always did seem to me to be, I mean, it was the, it was it the largest single sentence anybody from that era received. It was by, by a bit. Uh, initially, Jeff Skilling received 24 years. That was ultimately reduced on appeal uh, to 14 years, and he's now free after serving about 12 years of his sentence. So, yes, it was a stiff sentence, and Barbara Jones, the judge at the time, I remember it well, uh, talked about how that was appropriate, given Eber's role in, in really orchestrating and directing the fraud, uh, as, the, as the jury found in that case. Uh, and she felt uh, and said very specifically in her remarks at the sentencing that she knew it was a life sentence. Evers at the time was in his 60s uh, and, and that it was appropriate. And, uh, and, and the understanding all along was that he was going to die in prison. Well, now she has softened that stance a little bit. And uh, clearly the family and his, his legal team and uh, presumably Evers himself uh, feel that he's been punished enough. Yeah, we always draw the contrast, Scott, with that era and the people who were sentenced and, of course, the financial crisis itself, where virtually nobody was. That's right. Uh, it, it really is something. And, you know, WorldCom at the time was the largest bankruptcy in U.S. history, only to be eclipsed finally in the financial crisis. And, yeah, you're right. Nobody, uh, nobody did any time to speak of in the financial crisis, which uh, in a lot of ways caused much, much more damage that we're still dealing with today.